The Nakdong Elementary School UFO Incident On April 13, 1973, at Nakdong Elementary School in Boryong County, Chungcheong Namdo, South Korea, an ordinary day turned into a historic moment in the country's UFO sightings. Known as the Nakdong Elementary School UFO Incident, it was the first reported mass UFO sighting and landing case in South Korea. At approximately 12.30 p.m., during a clear afternoon, the fourth grade class was gathered on the playground for a physical fitness test. The homeroom teacher, Mr. Lee yun Kyu, was supervising the students. Suddenly, the children began screaming and pointing at the sky. A bright, silver object was seen hovering over the school's outdoor restroom. The object, rotating rapidly, flew across the playground and disappeared. Both Mr. Lee and 22 students witnessed the event. The UFO was approximately 20 meters above the ground, making it a close encounter. The larger UFO was about 2 meters in length, followed by a smaller one about 1 meter long. Both emitted bright flashes of light and rotated at high speed, trailing a hazy smoke. Despite their rapid movement, no sound was heard. The playground turned into chaos with excited children, making it impossible to continue the fitness test. Mr. Lee calmed the students and sent them back to their classroom. Convinced that they had seen a UFO, Mr. Lee reported the incident to the vice principal and had each student draw what they had seen on the blackboard. Remarkably, all 22 children drew similar pictures and gave consistent testimonies. Two students, Choi Daryong and John Byungguan, provided detailed accounts. They described the events leading up to the sighting. John, who had finished his fitness test early, was walking through the pine forest behind the school when he saw an unusual cloud appear in the sky. Choi, also near the forest, witnessed the same event. A strange, large cloud appeared in the sky. Six smaller clouds emerged from it, then merged into one and split into two. As the clouds cleared, a rugby ball-shaped object appeared, shining in silver. The two UFOs hovered, rotating rapidly, then flew across the forest. Later, the children called Mr. Lee again, claiming the UFO had landed on Gumjong Mountain. Mr. Lee rushed to the location but found only evidence of a landing, depressions in the ground and broken branches. While descending the mountain, he and the school principal, Mr. Kim Jongsong, saw a white cloud-like object swiftly moving across the pine forest. Mr. Lee interviewed local residents, discovering nearly 30 people had also seen strange objects in the sky around the same time. Some reported seeing a red glowing object emitting smoke flying toward the school and landing on Gumjong Mountain. Mr. Lee compiled these testimonies and characteristics of the UFO, shape and color change. The UFOs could change shape and color while flying at high speed. Smoke. They were surrounded by cloud-like smoke, which they could release or retract at will. No noise. Despite their rapid rotation and flight, they were silent. Landing method. The UFOs descended diagonally, then landed vertically. Disappearance. They appeared briefly and then vanished suddenly. Mr. Lee submitted a report to the Ministry of Culture and Education and the Ministry of Science and Technology. The incident was also reported in the popular magazine Sunday Soul, gaining significant media attention. Despite the compelling testimonies, the lack of photographic evidence, and limited public interest in UFOs at the time, the incident was not officially investigated further. A week later, Professor Park Dong Hyun from Duksung Women's University visited the landing site to measure radiation levels but found nothing unusual. He did, however, report seeing a cigar-shaped object on the mountain peak, further urging the UFO Research Association to investigate. The Nakdong Elementary School UFO incident remains one of the most credible UFO sightings in South Korea, remembered vividly by those who witnessed it. Despite the lack of official recognition, it stands as a rare and extraordinary event in global UFO history. What was the mysterious object that appeared over a small rural village decades ago? The answer remains elusive to this day.